what can a solopreneur do? You know, if we don't have the money to develop an app and we don't have the resources that a big organization can do, what can we do? Well, you, you know, the one thing that I, I really believe, Ifat, is that human uh, interaction will trump technology every time. So let's, let's call it high touch over high tech, right? And it's really, this is where the, the local business and you know the small business solopreneur has a big advantage over all the big companies so uh, I don't care if you're competing against big law firms or big legal practices or whether you're competing against a box retailer um, or a local supermarket you know competing against the big uh, the, the big guys right yeah your ability to offer a personal connection with your customer base and engage them personally and that doesn't necessarily mean without technology right that that could be that you're engaging them online in a social platform or through email or your call center um, but it also has to do with you know greeting them at the door and remembering their names and having that personal touch that is the competitive advantage of small businesses so it's all about still about the customer experience and the way you create customer loyalty is by engaging and listening to what those customers are, are telling you. You know, one of the things I've been talking about is uh, an empathy quotient. You know, they, they have this, uh, they talk about EQ as being emotional intelligence quotient. Well, I think <laughs> there's this empathy quotient that everybody needs to be looking at themselves and saying, you know, am I really uh, the listening to what customers are saying and putting myself in their shoes and seeing how they experience my business from their perspective. Gotcha. So, and so lo local businesses need to do that, and that's how they compete with the big guys with all the high-tech toys and tools, right? 